Hello, um, this is a video about setting up a Mac to work with the Oculus Quest on Unreal and um, I'm actually piggybacking off of a very good video already made by uh, Gogglehead XR. I'll put the link uh, down below. Uh, this covers setting up for uh, a Windows machine and it's on the previous version of the Unreal Engine. So um, although I'm not gonna cover the early part of the video, it's about the first minute and a half, for those of you who've not already set up your Oculus Quest and put it into developer mode, um, that's something that's agnostic, whether you're on a, a Windows or a Mac, um, that's the first minute and a half. But thereafter, things uh, div diverge slightly, so I'm gonna be covering it from the Mac perspective. So the Mac I'm using, it's a, a laptop. It's uh, running Catalina, and I'm going to be uh, working with Unreal Engine 4.23.1. So as the engine gets updated, um, there may be changes to this, but this is the, the kind of point from which I'm starting. So having watched the, the first minute and a half or so, which, uh, as I say, covers uh, making sure <clears throat> that you uh, have set developer mode on your Oculus Quest, the next thing to do is to check that your um, Quest can actually talk to your Mac. Uh, so you run a USB-C to um, either a USB-C Direct or via a hub on the latest MacBooks to USB-A into the machine itself. And um, in order for it to see the Oculus Quest, what you need to do is to uh, download something called ADB and you do that by uh, the most easy way to do that is to do it through the terminal. Terminal is the command line interface for Macs and if you've not used it before you call up the finder and if you go to applications and then down the bottom you'll see a folder called utilities and one of these is terminal so if I double click this it calls up a window um, <coughs> such as this and the code that you want to or the, sorry, the, the command that you want to run to actually pull down uh, ADB is as follows. Uh, again, I'll put this in the line below. So here we are. It's this first one here that will install. I'm not going to do this because I've already installed it, but I just simply control C and then control V and then run that command. It'll take a while. It'll pull the files um, and install those as appropriate. So once you've done that, the next step is to run uh, the actual line that installs these, which is this fella here. Again, <laughs> I'll put this down below so you can just cut and paste. Pop that in there, run that. <clears throat> and again, that will take some time. And then finally, that should have installed ADB. Now I've already plugged in my Oculus is turned on. So I can run ADB devices. Now the first time you run this, um, it may say unauthorized. If you look in your headset, you'll see that it comes up with a prompt uh, with a checkbox saying, do you want to, to accept this every time you uh, link to this computer? You check the checkbox and then say confirm. If you then run ADB again, you'll find it comes up with the name of the device here. So that shows that it's properly attached. Okay. <clears throat> So, uh, next thing you need to do, if you've not already done so, is to install Unreal Engine. And to do that, you need to go on to the uh, <clears throat> Unreal website, set up a, an account, and uh, then you have the launcher. And from the launcher, you can uh, download a version of the engine. Uh, this is my copy of uh, Unreal, there's not a lot here because if you're running on a laptop, this is quite a, um, a data intensive uh, program and you'll find it takes up quite a bit of space. So uh, whereas on a desktop, you might have various different versions of the engine to, to do different kind of things. Um, I've just got two here. And if I wanted to launch another one, as you can see, it's got all the previous, uh, here we go, down here all manner of previous iterations, uh, including a beta one, but it's probably best to stick with 4.23 as that is the current uh, <coughs> version at the time of making this video. So you would um, click install on 4.23, that would then install the engine. Once you have done that, 
uh, you're then in a position <clears throat> where what you probably need to do is um, sure that you've got the uh, things that work with Android. The Oculus Quest um, runs a version of Android, so let me just minimize that here. And there's a whole bunch of tools that you'll find in the install for the Unreal Engine. So if we just uh, minimize these things here. So I go to the Unreal Engine install. Typically, it should be installed under Users, Shared, and then you'll see Epic Games. Here's both my engines here. I want to go to the engine folder and then under the extras folder, uh, there is then one for Mac here. And you double click and install this file here and this installs CodeWorks for um, Android, which enable it to, to work uh, efficiently with your machine and to package the files and send them to the Quest. One more thing to do, uh, and you might as well do this in advance of launching Unreal because it will come up with a prompt if you've not already done so, is that um, the graphics rendering on the Mac is much improved if it runs uh, the Metal Engine. This is part of Xcode, so uh, you need to install Xcode. And this is another fairly meaty install. I think I've got it on the App Store. I can show you the screen here. Again, I'll put the links. Uh, I think it's about eight gigs. So you need to uh, see, got open here, but you need to download and install that uh, from the App Store. Then uh, once you've done that and that's installed uh, and properly running, you've got the the correct rendering drivers for the Mac. You've got uh, the Android um, SDK tools for um, the Quest, and you've got ADB, so the Mac and the uh, quest can talk to each other so you only need to do that once when you're setting up a machine but once you've done that then you're kind of uh, good to go so let's create a project and get going so I've got the engine installed and um, what I'm going to do is launch that And then you'll come up with this window here, uh, existing projects here. What we want to do is create a new project. So go to new projects. Um, I want to work with blueprints rather than C++. Uh, blueprints are a visual way of uh, creating scenes. So unless you're a bit of a C++ guru, I would suggest <laughs> with uh, blueprints. And you want the virtual reality template. Then you come down here because you're developing for Quest, mobile stroke tablet. Um, quality should be scalable 3D or 2D and then initially do it without starter content. Then you need a location for your project and um, I typically create a new folder for each one so what we have to Q4 now so new folder Q4 okay okay there and then I generally call the project the same thing it's entirely up to you. So I've done all that, virtual reality, mobile, scalable 2D, 3D, no starter content, create project. This is launching the engine. <clears throat> and the following steps are things, uh, if you start from this as your base and then develop a project from that, these are things that you would um, need to do each time for a new project rather than kind of opening up an existing one. So, because um, we're working with the Quest, the first thing we want to do is to load the map that works with the Quest. This is this one here called Motion Controller Map. So double click that. Okay, now that's open, um, it probably makes sense to get rid of the, the maps that I'm not gonna be using. So I'm just going to highlight Delete, not that one, and delete this one. So I'm now just left with the motion controller map there like that. Uh, one of the, the differences between the Quest and other VR headsets is that I haven't got a kind of live preview, so I can't just press play or uh, VR play. There's not a, you see it's, it's, it's grayed out there. So I can't just press play and, and show you that from the get-go I need to, um, send it to the device each time but we'll come on to that shortly <clears throat> okay so 
what I need to do now is set up the project. I've got, I might as well save. Um, and to do that, I go up here to edit project settings. Right, there's a few things you need to do here. Um, so there's kind of subcategories down the side here. The first one, maps and modes. Uh, if you set this to the map that you're using, motion control map for both of those, the rest of that is fine. And then further down, if I go to engine, under input, I want to make sure that this uh, says none. So if it's got something else in there like that, you just need to go up here and go clear, and that will return that to none, that's fine. And then next down to rendering. Now, in uh, the YouTube video I sent you to, it advises you to turn off uh, mobile HDR. Although the new Vulkan rendering engine requires this, and so what I'm going to do is set you up using that from the get-go. So you actually do need to check that box there. So um, <clears throat> that's the first thing that you need to do. And um, that is it on the rendering page. Yep, I think it actually, everybody, it does four times anti-aliasing, so you can put that on there like that. Uh, ignore this for the time being, because uh, we might as well restart when we've changed all these particular settings. So change that there, and that's under rendering. Now I need to go down to platforms, and if I scroll to the top, uh, this is very important, not configure for the Android platform, well then, press that to configure it, it just takes uh, a second. And then, next up, uh, the version of the SDK, uh, this should be set at 25 for both of these. Okay, and then coming further down here, uh, we need to check this box: enable full screen immersive on KitKat and above devices. Yes, and then we go down to the build section. So if we're working on Vulkan, we need to make sure this V7A uh, is working, OpenGL 3.1, and also now this one here support Vulkan. Now this is something that has changed for uh, 4.23 package for Oculus mobile devices. Yes, we do need to do that, and you can actually specify here that we want to do it for the Quest. So I'll drop that in there like that, and remove Oculus signature files from distribution APK. Click that there like that. <clears throat> okay, and then um, the one other thing. Uh, that should be set up by default but I'll just show you how you can check that if it's not so if you go to Android SDK you'll see here this is um, the directories it looks in by default uh, and they shouldn't need to change these but a way of checking uh, if you've got an issue with this is you can go back into terminal and if you type print env print variable if you can spell it print env there and then that lists um, where things like mv pack and various other things are located so that will give you an indication uh, if you've got an issue about uh, where you've gone wrong there right so um, I'm going to come up here and save this again and now I'm going to restart it stuck this time good okay so just close down that now we need to check that we've got the plugin for oculus so you're here under plugins and what you should find under virtual reality is that you've got oculus vr plugins enabled if they're not enabled you click that there enable them and um, it will require a restart if you add any plugins to the engine so we'll close that now we're left with this uh, project here now the easiest thing to do at this point would actually to uh, see this working and so what I'm going to do is to go up here launch and you'll see that uh, it recognizes the quest but there's an exclamation mark against it now the reason for that is that you need to tell it that Android is a supported platform so you come down here supported platforms 
check Android close that and now it should uh, launch okay so what's going to happen now you'll get you can call up this output log as you can see here um, what happens is it's um, processing all of those uh, particular <coughs> files packaging them up and um, I may pause this. Okay, so now I'm in the engine, and um, what you can see is that I've got. Um, if I press the joystick down, I've got this teleport function here. So I can press and hold that. When I release it, I will end up wherever that is. Let's get a bit closer here, and now I'm in a position where I can grab this and um, move these and these got physics enabled so you can see all manner of uh, precarity is happening there so let's see if we can take these out yes drop those down on the floor like so uh, okay I've closed that um, out there um, that all kind of launched quite well the I'm going to do a separate video on how you actually might want to customize this so the totality of your uh, quest projects don't look exactly uh, like this but the other thing uh, that we might want to do from this is we might actually want to send it to the quest itself rather than it being tethered all the time that's the point of a kind of untethered device and to do that you have to package the project up uh, and you do that by going up here file um, package project uh, for Android and the one you want is ASTC so I click that and then I'll ask for a directory so Q4 I tend to put it in a, um, a new folder under here put some like package create and then open and that will launch the packaging thing again I'll probably stop this at this point and if you want to access that um, and to uh, navigate library as you've set it up for developer mode you'll see there is a section called unknown sources and I'm just doing this now believe it or not uh, off screen and I can then click on the Q4 one that I created earlier and that will launch that from the machine and I can do this um, independently and here we are um, in the project and that's all kind of working as it did before so um, that's all I want to cover in this particular session. I'll do a separate one on actually the kind of things you might uh, author in Unreal, but that's it for now.